Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a new episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts HD. In the last episode, we uh, gathered provisions for our raft, participated in the foot race, and in the end watched, well, to say it bluntly, shit go down. Now I'm being chased by shadowy things that I can't hit, and uh, we see a place to go in the distance. Let's just escape from these things and get on with it. Where's Kyrie? I thought she was with you. The door is open. What? The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We gotta find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Once we step through, we might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. There's no turning back. But this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm not afraid of the darkness. Riku. Yes, we now have the Keyblade. An auspicious name, if I must say so myself. And this, of course, gives us the ability to lay the everlasting smackdown on these shadowy teens. And yes, I am being overly dramatic. Now, this, of course, is also a place you can use to farm experience, if you so desire. This entire island is crawling with these relatively weak one experience giving shadowy blighters. What this means... Oh, and that's the stun impact, by the way. Now, what this means is, of course, that if you feel the desire to uh, get even more levels, or if you didn't really bother getting to a high level before reaching this point, this is a fine place to, uh, to uh, get that going. You also get a fair amount of potions by doing this. These things uh, have a fairly high drop rate on potions, as you can see. Now I'm just gonna do a quick sweep over the uh, area we have access to and uh, uh, show you all where... Uh, stuff is, or you know where the uh, groups of these things are hidden, uh, but really, they, it, as, as long as you wander around to a place, yeah, you can't enter the cove here, by the way, that's locked now, uh, what was I saying, oh yes, as long as you just wander around, you will find groups of enemies to beat up for experience. I'm, yeah, I, I, I probably shouldn't be doing this a lot. I mean, what's the point? I'm already at a reasonably high level. But, yeah, hot spots that are worth uh, doing a circuit of are, is of course, the beach here. There's a lot of them on the beach. And out where, yeah, I'm gonna just run on. There's really no point in me doing this. Uh, out where we got the rope, there is also a fair few of these things. So what I usually do if I uh, if I bother doing this is I do kind of a um, circuit around the uh, island, starting off um, on the beach, moving up here, moving back along the beach, um, 
by the way of the treehouse going all the way to the top because there's actually quite a few of them inside the treehouse. Then I head down here and if I want to I go up to the top and over to the tiny island where we fought Riku. Then I head inside to reset all the spawn rates and just in case I need to save, back out and get on with it. But as I was saying, I don't really need to do this now. You, you all know how best to do this, I'm, I'm assuming. What we shall do is we shall enter this familiar door that appeared out of nowhere. And the door blew open. This cannot be good. Yeah, things have really deteriorated. Oh, hi there. Long time no see. Not really. It's been not so long. Anyway, he starts off with his awful ball shooty thingy. Let's deflect the balls. Let's see if I can't deflect all of them. Nope, I could not. That's one of the benefits of being level 10. I don't take that much damage anymore. Or, I take damage, but I have enough health that it's a non-issue. If I'd been at level 5 when I went here, that would have hurt me much more. Okay. Jump to... Ow! I jumped! Right into his fist. Anyway, the strategy is the same as always. You beat on his head. As hard as you can. And then you take care of the little guys that he falls on. Target back onto the big guy. And see him performing a new attack. Which gives me access to his head. And I beat him. <laughs> While he's dragging an orb of something out of the ground. That would have made it rain dark energy in a slow, random pattern. He's still not dead, but he's just sucked into that big ball of stuff. So am I. Or so is Sora. Anyway, shutting up is a cutscene. Traverse Town, says the sign. Where's that too? Hey, you know, maybe we ought to go find Leon. Oh, uh, Donald, uh, you know, I bet you that, uh... Ah, uh, what do you know, you big coyote? Ooh, what do I know? Hmm. Come on, Pluto! A dream. Oh, where am I? Oh boy. Do you know where we are? 
people. Hey! Yes, that is a good question. Where are we? Let's go find out. This is totally weird. I'm in another world. Yes, we are now in Traverse Town. A nice place, apparently. Let's just poke around and see what's going on. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was my cell phone telling me it's low on battery again. Yeah, this happened in my Super Mario World Let's Play as well. Anyway, let's see. What do you have to say? Currently closed off. This town has grown as people have lost their home worlds and come here. It's easy to get lost in such a big sprawling place. Be careful. So, apparently this is sort of a refugee camp or a crossroads where people who have lost their worlds end up. And Moogle! Yes! M M Moogle! Seeing all of this town will take some time, Kubo, especially for newcomers. Even if you can't go to certain areas now, you'll be able to go later. Hmm. That's nice. You're looking for someone? It's a big town, so check everywhere. I guess that's a hint as to what I should do next. Those candles burning over there were specially created by moogles. Even if you snuff one out, it flickers back to life in no time. You'd probably need magic to put them all out. Magic, huh? Well, I see a chest. It will not open. There must be some secret to opening it. Of course there is. And we have a blue mark on the ground. Huh. This is all gonna be important later on. Let's check out the item shop. Well now... Hello, Huey, Louie, and Dewey? I think their names are? Yeah. I, yeah. Eh, uh, Deb. What, what, what was I saying? Anyway, let's talk. I'm in charge of keeping the shop clean. It's easier than our bedroom. <laughs> How nice. We're gonna earn enough money here to go on our own adventure. Again. Nice. Welcome. Are you looking to buy? Maybe have something to sell. Uh, let's chat. I don't have any money at present. I handpicked everything on these shelves. We carry only the best. Yes, I should probably mention, you, you all have probably noticed by now, but English is not my native tongue. Um, so you will have to excuse me for if I have a weird accent or if I mispronounce certain words or, you know, just things like that. Accessory shop. Let's visit here. Hey there, how can I... Ah, it's only a kid. I'm not a kid, and the name's Sora. Okay, okay, simmer down. So why the long face, Sora? You lost or something? No. Well, maybe. Where are we? Huh? Traverse Town. So, Gramps, is this really another world? Don't call me Gramps. The name's Sid. Anyway... Not sure what you're talking about, but this sure ain't your island. Hmm, guess I'd better start looking for Riku and Kairi. Well, good luck with whatever it is you're doing. If you ever run into trouble, you come to me. I'll look out for you. Nice, nice, Sid. This is, of course, Sid from Final Fantasy VII. The foul-mouthed... Uh, well, he's an engineer slash uh, space pilot. Uh, uh, Astronaut wannabe. That's the word. Anyway, what do you need? I'm here to shop this chat. If you can't find the bodies, I'll take care of you. Yeah. I don't have any money, so I can't shop at present. Anywho. Yeah, I'm not gonna save yet. Oh, wait. I saw something out of the corner of my eye that I always forget about. Or. What am I saying? Always. I've only ever actually completed this game. What? four times, I think. And most of them were ve a very long time ago, so I don't even remember most of it. Obtained Mithril Shard. 
Let's enter the first district and really get to looking about. So yes, uh, I suppose I suppose I should have said earlier. That, you know, this is not a blind let's play. But then again, you all know, you know this. It's obvious. It's a it's another one of my childhood nostalgia games. Um, but I would still appreciate if, in practice, for when I get ahead to or get to doing games that I truly don't know. Please, no spoilers in the comments. Looks like it's locked. Okay. Can't open it. Yeah. Okay, let's just get a move on. The, it, it, there isn't anything here in the first district as of yet. To the second district. So yes, I am planning on doing blind games eventually. I just really wanted to... Okay, not talking cutscene. It's those creatures from the island! Anyway, as I was saying, I I want to do, you know, games I've never played before eventually. Oh, and I got a Lucid Shark there. That's a new drop. Uh, but one of the games I want to do blind is, of course, Kingdom Hearts 3. And I thought it was kind of silly to do Kingdom Hearts 3 without having the previous Kingdom Hearts games on my channel. Therefore, I'm doing this. Which... I honestly don't mind because I love the Kingdom Hearts series. Obtained a postcard. Now, let's waltz about the second district and uh, see what's going on, shall we? We can enter the hotel. Doesn't look like he's here. Keep looking. Okay, this is gonna be a thing. I'm gonna stay one step ahead of Donald and Goofy the entire time. Midsummer Dawn. Hmm. It's a painting. Currently closed off. Currently closed off. The Autumn Dusk. Paintings are great. Announcement. Our hotel is holding a... What? What was that? Our hotel is holding a multicultural art exhibit. We hope you enjoy the exhibit. Manager. Okay. Now this is kind of a minor secret. Paintings are great. If you ever stay the night, try hitting the clock. Yeah. That... If you check both paintings and uh, ding the bell three times, you get that hint which tells you about a clock that you can hit to do stuff. One of those things you find if you really, truly explore and just have fun with the game. I should probably talk about things I like about the game, but right now I just, you know, I want to kill these things, explore and have a good time. But, yeah. No, I'm not gonna fall down. Okay. Let's see if I can't get that chest out there. No. And of course I fall down. Yeah. Anyway. I actually I bought the original Kingdom Hearts when I was relatively young. It had just come out, I think, and I was on vacation and I saw it in a store and I thought, hey, this looks like fun. Bought it and I you know I booted up booted it up when I got home and it was well, I would say a revelation, but it's, it, was, it was just a good game that I had a lot of fun with. So when I, you know, decided to get into Let's Playing, figuring out that, okay, I wanted to do Kingdom Hearts 3, then deciding, okay, I'm gonna, you know, do a childhood nostalgia piece on this thing and just play through it. Now, why did I fall down again? Well, anyway, it was pretty much a no-brainer. <sighs> but... Yeah, you're not here to listen to me talk about that. You're here to see me do this game. Ah, come on, that was so close. Okay, I think I know a better way to do this. But yes, I've played this game a few times over the years, and uh, I've become reasonably competent at it. I know a lot of the secrets. Oh, okay, that's not going to work. 
yeah, if I fail at this one more time, I am going to <coughs> uh, cut out until uh, until I manage to get it. Yeah, okay. I will, um, uh, yeah, I will cut the episode here and we'll start up next episode with me actually standing on that stupid ledge. See you all then. Bye-bye.